Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. I know it's been a while since I've done a proper video like this. As you can tell, I now have a hat. It's a Sami Zayn hat, just so you know. Um, so, the re um, like if you're watching my Twitch streams, you'll know that I start wearing this more often. I'm going to start wearing it for like these videos as well. Um, so, I'm making this video because this is my predictions for WWE Royal Rumble 2018, which is tonight. Uh, it's been a while since I've had to do a video like this. I didn't do the NXT one last night, mainly because I didn't really pay too much attention. Uh, I think I would have got four out of five of the predictions I had before, because um, I had a quick look at it, and the only one I would have got wrong, I thought Authors of Pain were going to retain the title, well, not retain, uh, win the titles, but they didn't. Um, but yeah, uh, it, again, it was a solid show. Um, it does become one of those things with NXT now, where it's sort of like, it's that good that it almost ruins the main show, uh, but I think Royal Rumble's very hard to ruin. Uh, I know last year the last five minutes of it kind of ruined like the rest of it because they tried to push Roman Reigns down our throats again. Um, and if I'm honest, I think they're going to do it again this year. Uh, I'm going to go through my predictions with you. So, for the pre-show, um, there's three matches. Um, two of them... But what one was announced earlier today. The other two, there was no mention of it. They just spontaneously happened now um so first one we've got bobby Roode with a u.s open challenge my prediction for who's going to go against is either dolph ziggler uh is going to return and challenge him or it's going to be baron corbin but either way i'm going with the bobby Roode retention uh it seemed a bit silly after 12 days i guess uh to have him lose the title um yeah, if Dolph, like if Dolph was to come back and then win it and then he's going, oh, I don't want it again, it'll be a bit stupid. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for a Bobby Roode US title retention. We've got uh, Gallows and Anderson versus uh, The Revival. Uh, Scott, Dawson, Scott, Dawson? Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder. I'm going to go for The Revival to win this one. I think they need it a bit more, especially after the whole um, Raw 25 thing where they sort of became the victims of the legendary beatdown. So, like, Heath Slater in 2012, Damien Sandow in 2013, I think it was. Um, yeah, it's sort of like, if you're trying to build a team, don't have them get their ass kicked. It was sort of like the Ascension as well. Literally, within a month of them coming up, they got their ass kicked by New Age Outlaws, NWO, and the APA. Doesn't really do them any favours. Um, I think the Revival's going to win this one. And then this one, I do believe, has been changed because of uh, what's recently happened this week. Uh, we've got Kalisto, Lince Dorado, and Grand Metalik versus uh, TJP, Gentleman Jack Gallagher, and Drew Gulak. Um, I think originally it was going to be uh, Enzo versus Cedric for the Cruiserweight title. However, I think it was on Tuesday. Um, Enzo Amore had. Uh, I think he was arrested on claims of sexual allegation. Like, yeah, sexual al allegations of like sexual misconduct and. Um, yeah, due to allegations of sexual harassment and sexual assault. Later in that day, he actually got fired. So, um, there's no Cruiserweight champion currently, and apparently there's going to be now a general manager of 205 Live to come up with a solution for that. My solution would be have a battle royal or something and have Cedric win, finally. It's been over a year since he's deserved it. He should have been... I think, in my opinion, I think he should have been the third Cruiserweight champion. Like TJP first, then Brian Kendrick take it off him, and then Cedric should have took it off him. They've waited so long for it, and he's been so deserving ever since he's gone to the main roster. To the point that in the Cruiserweight Classics, they didn't even plan on signing him, and because of his match with Kota Bushi, Triple H had to sign him because the whole like, crowd wanted him signed. Like, I'm sure that's a good enough reason to put the title on him. Um, yeah. And it was one of those things as well, if anyone was going to throw Neville, it could have been Cedric. Like, Cedric could have been there for so long. Like, I was so annoyed. I, like, I've been annoyed with Enzo ever since the whole, like, tour, like the tour bus incident they had. And then he got sent to the cruiseway, and the next thing you know, he's instantly number one contender. He's, like, the least deserving. Like, I've not really been a fan of his in-ring talent. Like, cool, you can talk, but you can't really wrestle that well. And the fact that he went from going to the cruiseway... Uh, picture to instant number one contender where Cedric did all the work in the match and then actually go on and win the title and then again ruin the division um, 
just like so but Neville managed to restore the division and then Cedric just ruined it all again um not Cedric sorry uh, Enzo did again another reason why I I'm a bit happy that Enzo's gone because like it was cool though sort of like the heel trash talker thing but it was to that point it was annoying like there was the roar in the UK where he was trash talking for about five to ten minutes I'm pretty sure the crowd started chanting shut the fuck up to him and like started booing him out the building and then luckily Pete Dunne came by and kicked his ass like literally the biggest cheers Enzo gets is when he's getting the shit kicked out of him that's how much people don't like him and I'm honestly glad that he's gone uh, they can actually get the cruiserweight off on the right foot again, hopefully. Uh, like I said, I want Cedric to be the next champion. But for this match, uh, after my two-minute rant about Enzo, uh, I'm going to go for uh, Kalisto, then say Gerardo and Grandma to, lead to win. Uh, just because it's there, I guess. It's a nice little cruiserweight action to build up um, for the main show. So then we'll go on to the main show. I think the first match will be the women's Royal Rumble match. Uh, the men's obviously are going to go last. Uh, for the women's Rumble match, I have two predictions. But I will stick with just one. Uh, so my main prediction is Asuka to win. Uh, obviously, she's having this whole dominant undefeated streak since coming up. And obviously, she was undefeated next year as well. Uh, if it's not her, I have a feeling that it may be Ronda Rousey if she does show up. My prediction that since Stephanie McMahon is on commentary, she's going to get involved somehow, be one of the late entrants, and then Ronda Rousey's going to be like number 29 or 30, probably throw her out, and then build up for a match from Ste for Stephanie and Ronda at WrestleMania. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, we've got uh, the Usos uh, defending the SmackDown Tag Team Championships against... Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin um, in a 2 out of 3 fours match. I think this non-Royal Rumble match-wise is going to be match of the night. Um, and I'm going to go with... I think Chad and Shelton are going to win. Mainly because it will make them a credible team. If the Usos win, they've got no one else to go against. Maybe Rusev seven eight in English. But I have a feeling that... Uh, obviously because Jey Uso got... Arrested for, I think he was like drinking, not drinking, so driving while intoxicated. So I think they might get in a bit of trouble for that. That's normally what happens. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with Chad and Shelton are going to win. It's going to be a brilliant match, probably about 20 minutes or so. Um, then we've got Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan uh, defend the Raw Tag Team Championships against Cesaro and Sheamus. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be Seth and Jason to retain this one. Uh, there may be a little miscommunication of the bar will like be overconfident because they think they've sort of ruined them over. Uh, but I'm going to go with uh, Seth and Jason to retain. It's funny that obviously American Alpha split up, but now they're both sort of in the tag title contention type thing, like contenders slash champions. But yeah, so I'm going to go with Seth and Jason to retain that. We've got AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Um, I've got three sort of outcomes for WrestleMania matches. Uh, I'm going to go with the prediction I've got for this based on what my prediction will be for the other one, uh, like for the Royal Rumble match itself. I'm going to go with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are going to be AJ Styles and become co-WWE champions. But my little twist on it is that Sami's going to get the pin and he's going to gloat that he's the one that's the true WWE champion. Down the line, Kevin Owens will lash out at Sami Zayn because of it. And I think... For WrestleMania, it will be Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn for the WWE Championship. Um, if if it wasn't that and AJ Styles was to retain, I would have gone for the SmackDown. Uh, so, I've gone for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn for that. I'm going to quickly do the Men's Royal Rumble one so I can explain my stories here. Uh, so, with that prediction, I think bottom line for Royal Rumble, and I hate to say this, I think they're going to go with Roman 3.0 and they're going to have Roman win again. Um, they don't really learn from last time they were in Philadelphia, funnily enough. Uh, I feel like because Roman lost his Intercontinental title on Raw and hasn't even bothered uh, going for his rematch clause and instead announced he's in the Royal Rumble, I have a feeling he's going to win that and then he's going to go on to face Brock Lesnar and their claim will be that 
you know, they never had a solid finish to their WrestleMania 31 match, and that can be the story behind it. Um, but I just don't think it's going to work. It's going to be the same thing, where we're literally just going to boo the fuck out of him for ages. And then Roman's going to win, and then it's going to ruin WrestleMania 34. They don't seem to learn every year, which is the worst part. Um, that's my only downside to Royal Rumbles recently, is they just don't learn about what the fans actually want. Um, but if it wasn't going to be that, and AJ Styles was to retain, I was going to go with Shinsuke to win on the SmackDown side, so you can have AJ Styles versus Shinsuke. But then I thought about it, the reason I've gone for Roman is because if Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn do win, and they have their match at WrestleMania, then obviously Roman and Brock at WrestleMania, I have a feeling that AJ Styles and Shinsuke will have a little face-off, either at Fastlane, or wherever the pay-per-view between for SmackDown is, and they'll both look at the WrestleMania sign, and then they'll just have a non-title match, so it doesn't have to be about the title itself, because AJ versus Shinsuke in itself is a dream match, so I think they'll go with that. But yeah, um, and then finally, we've got Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman versus Kane, which, as I was talking about in my previous stories, I feel Brock Lesnar's going to retain. The only thing that's going to bug me, and I feel like they're going to do this because they've done it for the past five times that Brock Lesnar has been in a multi-man title match, it's going to be uh, Braun Strowman is probably going to pa- run and power slam him through the announce table. It's going to be Kane and Braun Strowman for a bit. And then next thing you know, Braun's going to come out of nowhere and do German suplexes at five, win the match. He did it Royal Rumble 2015. He did it um, in SummerSlam, I think. I remember, I think he did it in another match as well, but I forgot what it was. And he's definitely going to do it in this one. It's just the very cliche thing they do with Brock is he gets slammed through announce tables. They go, oh, he's probably got broken ribs. He won't be able to walk that one off. Then next thing you know, it's like, oh, my God, this beast is unstoppable. Even with all this, he's like, still on his feet. Oh, God, yeah, but it's all that crap again. So, yeah, I've got Brock to retain um, in the WWE title match because my three... But well, from that, I've got five matches in set up for Mania itself. I've got... AJ and Shinsuke, Sammy and Kevin, um, Brock and Roman, uh, Asuka and Alexa, possibly. I don't know if anyone will take it out of Alexa, but you never know. And then we'll have, um, what was the other one? Brock Roman, oh, let me go through it. So Brock Roman, Kevin, Sammy, AJ, Shinsuke, Asuka and... Possibly Alexa. Oh, then Ronda and Stephanie McMahon. So that's my sort of five predicted matches for WrestleMania. But, yeah, so there's nine matches there. If I get five right, then obviously I keep that title. I'm terrible at pointing on a mirrored thing. Uh, but, yeah, that's my predictions for Rumble 2018. Let me know what you think. And I shall hopefully see you in the next one.